Hi there. So you might be thinking about how can you get in the zone for your exams while you're there in the exam center. So I gathered a few notes and I thought that I'd share them with you. Now, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you've attempted a lot of past papers actually before you go for your exam. That's going to help you get into the flow of how the main exam is going to look in what sequence question comes in, what format there is, and also how you can time yourself better once you're giving the exam itself, because over there you can't go overboard, right? Now, the second thing that you want to remember is that you want to go over all the questions before you even start attempting. And once you see all the questions, attempt the easy ones first. Build up that confidence to actually give the exam itself. If you're doing MCQs, go over all the MCQs once before you start solving them and first tick off every one that you feel is actually easy to do. The third tip is you want to make sure that you have a watch in front of you or find the nearest clock around. The reason why you want to do this is so that you don't go overboard with your time. If you're prepping for essay based questions, you give yourself 20 to 30 minutes per question and you want to time yourself also. If you start going over that limit, you're going to be leaving out space or you're going to be taking out space from another question. And then of course, it just spirals on from there. If you're not able to get hold of yourself, it could be pretty ugly. So keep a watch handy or find the clock around you in the exam center and keep a tab of how much time has gone by as the exam progresses. Now the fourth tip for you is specifically for giving your MCQ exams. You get anywhere between an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. So remember that when the exam is made, when they're designing it, they've also kept in mind how long it might take to solve the MCQs. They do it such that you take a minute and a half to two minutes per question, but a good rule of thumb is to make sure that you spend a minute on an MCQ. If it takes you longer than a minute or a minute and a half on an MCQ on a particular question, move on to the next one. That basically means that if you go, if you start feeling the need to spend more time on it, you're going to leave less time for the other questions. So it kind of goes back in line with tip number two or three that I mentioned that do the easy ones first, build up that confidence. And the last tip that I have for you is imagine that the exam is going to end 10 minutes in advance. That's not just going to help you rush through everything. You don't want to rush through everything. You want to do it diligently. You want to do it carefully. That's also going to help you make sure that you can focus in on what you're doing. Your goal is to make sure that you attempt every question to the best of your abilities to, and apply everything that you've learned in that one year. And if you try to compress the time frame, what's going to happen is that you're going to feel even more focused and you're not going to get distracted by everything that's around you or by your own thoughts. And hopefully you'll be done in time and you'll have 10 minutes left over to go over everything that you've done, to revise everything, to proofread everything, to check everything as well. And in the last five minutes, you can just sit back, relax, and watch everyone else keep giving their exam. All the best. See you guys in the next one.